Mr. Bofield, you had a lot of great examples of things that you felt we could do, uh, improvements in the SBA program. Do you have any other ideas I mean, for, for what's existing in the program now? Do you have any other ideas or suggestions of things we could add to it that would be important or could make it more beneficial? Uh, the goal for me being here today <clears throat> was to uh, to back the decision of the SBA to get into marine floor planning. Um, the way it stands right now, as, as it's written, is that it's only good for one year. So we, we need to expand that to permanency. And the whole goal of the SBA loan, back loans or guaranteed loans, is to attract banks, regional banks, into the floor plan business. So whatever, to, it, and that will only be done with permanency and with more dollars without, without, the two, without the $2 million cap that's on there presently. And then that will ben benefit both the, the banking industry as well as the dealerships. Okay. Mr. Waters? I think um, uh, there's, and I guess I'm not really sure the uh, exact um, process that the SBA could do to, to solve the problem. I think there's a pro part of the problem is that banks, there's a pendulum, and we've had an era of loose credit and now we're in this new era of tight credit. And I think the pendulum has swung way too far in the, uh, towards over, it's overly tight, constricting all these markets. So I guess the, uh, I'd love to see a way that the SBA could entice banks to try and push the pendulum back a little more center. Um, there are good quality, credit quality comp uh, companies that are being denied credit or uh, being forced to pay too much money for their interest rates. Is there a way that SBA could create a program that would encourage banks to be, be a little more realistic? And, you know, meant, that was also mentioned in the preceding um, um, panel, how the regulators seem to be coming out and, and creating this, um, this uh, environment, a culture of the banks to be very, very concerned and afraid about everything they're doing. So um, some type of program that would, uh, would uh, encourage banks to become a little more um, reasonable. Okay, Mr. Cohen. Well, I keep coming back to the two <clears throat> points that are key to me, and one one is the valuation of businesses and the treatment of goodwill, and the and uh, uh, just to give you an example of how that affects uh, me as a small business person, if I want to acquire uh, another outlet from another franchisee uh, with with the expectation that I can improve that business. I'm limited in how much SBA money I can borrow because my business is not capital intensive in terms of the investment going in. So if I, if I have a hundred thousand or a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you use the the higher number, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in equipment, fixtures, and furniture on the books, but my cash flow, the cash flow of this business is two hundred thousand, and then I'm going to use a multiple of cash flow to purchase or sell that business, which is very common in our sector. Uh, and the, the multiple in our sector would be four to five. So you'd be conservative and say four. This business is worth eight hundred thousand dollars, but I have only a hundred or one hundred and fifty thousand in liquid in uh, in assets on the book. So the book value is low. So I have a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar difference that's going to go to goodwill. I would not be able to use the SBA right now to qualify for that. Uh, the other part of, of it that would be important to, to me would be increasing the loan amounts because in, in franchise businesses, we find that 50 percent of franchise businesses are owned by multi-unit franchisees. So I have an opportunity right now to acquire two other franchisees uh, in my state, both of whom are ready to retire, neither of whom wants to expand their business. Now, I see great growth potential in both of those markets. But it will take my ability to borrow three to five million dollars to do that. So I cannot qualify under current SBA standards to, to acquire those, to get those loans and get that assistance. Thank you. Mr. Duffler? Uh, so um, valuation based on the high, in, in high growth, high return businesses are difficult because the, the, the normal measures, cash flow or hard assets, just aren't in these businesses. Uh, again, we're looking at, at negative cash flows for a number of years, and we're looking at intellectual property, which is very hard to, to value. So again, if SBA could align itself with private equity investors who have expertise in evaluating and valuing those, those assets, and those assets are intellectual property and clinical programs, 
um, that would be a great benefit for the biotech industry. Very good. Thank you.